So today I want to talk about how to price your event planning services for profit because as a lot of clients will always tell you, I say, it's not magic, it's math. Hi, I'm Jody Ann Rowe, founder of The Event Certificate, and I work with event planners and wedding planners to help them find more leads online. If you're looking to market effectively, you definitely need to get in touch with me. And by the way, my online marketing course, The Marketing Accelerator, is currently open for enrollment. I'm gonna drop the link below so you can check it out. So today what I wanna talk about is how to actually price for profit. So a lot of times when I meet clients and they're frustrated about their pricing, there are two things that's usually happening. One, they're either priced significantly lower than they should be and they're not making a lot of money. Or two, they're priced so high just because they looked around, saw someone's price, they copied it, but they have no justification for how they got there. So I'm gonna just share with you two very simple tactics for finding your price and that's the price that's gonna get you the highest or the profit that you're going to be happy with. So here's the thing. The first thing you want to do is you want to calculate your costs. So you need to start with the math. Think about the cost of delivering that service to a client. So maybe they ha you are setting up a backdrop for a party. What does it actually cost you for all of that, right? What does the table cost you? What does the draping cost you? Everything needs to go into calculating that cost then how much are you charging them for that? So a lot of times I might meet clients, they'll say, well, I charge $550 for a backdrop. And I say, okay, great. Now let's calculate the cost. How much did this cost and how much did this cost? And when they get there, they might end up at like $500. So now we have to do what? We have to take your revenue, which is 550. We have to remove your cost, which is 500. And then now you're left with your profit, which is $50. And I'll say to them, and are you comfortable with that? And of course, most of the time they're not because that $50 now represents the time they had to use to get everything organized, the time that you had to use to set up the event, to tear down the event, and that $50 works out to significantly less than what they actually wanted to make. So great. So here's how we're gonna shift that. And this is my second tip. You're gonna actually look at what you would like to make from the event. So if you know, based on everything you're doing, you want to walk away from that event with say $200 and that's your profit, then you need to be pricing that event at $700 to do that full setup. So that when you remove your cost of 500, you're left with 200. And that's the minimum that you should be charging. How did I come up with that 200? Well, that 200 should include the cost of setting everything up, right? So that's the 500 plus your profit. But your profit needs to account for your time. And this is what a lot of event planners will often miss. So yes, you wanna look at the materials that you're delivering. Maybe you're setting up the draping and the backdrops, all of this, and you're gonna look at the cost for doing that. But you also have to account for your time. How long did it take you to do that setup? How long is it gonna take you to do teardown? And how much per hour is your time worth? And that's what helps you to get to your profitable number. Again, your revenue minus your cost or your expenses is equal to your profit. And when you calculate those two things, if your profit is significantly lower than where you need to be, you need to increase your prices. Or if your price is so high where you feel it's not justifiable, go through that cost calculation and tell me where you land. Because I promise you, if you're actually accounting for all your materials, your time, your assistance, your travel, all of that, and you're basing it off the market price, you're probably going to be higher or closer to where you're supposed to be. Now, if you have any questions, drop them down below and I'm happy to answer them for you.